Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for joining me today. Okay, today is a personal development video about ego. I got an email from Lizzie. Hello Lizzie. And she's asked me, why do we have ego? All right, today, as I said, it's personal development. I'd like you to grab a pen and paper. Please pause the video so you can do the exercises with me and we all learn about something new that you may not know about before. Okay, so hopefully you've paused, you went and got your pen and paper to write down notes from today's session. This is a personal development lesson. I don't charge for these, but if you do want to contribute through my PayPal, my link is below in the description. Because if you go and pay for these type of courses, you'll some people charge hundreds of dollars for them. I give it to you for free. All right. So here we go. What is ego? Ego is based on our personality of what we experience in this three dimensional world. Whew, that's it in a nutshell. So let's go there. There's two very big factors that make up our persona, our persona. So I'm going to talk today about Linda's persona. Linda, me, I have a personality and I also have a character. Okay, so let's go there for the difference in both. I'm going to talk about personality first. So write down, if you're writing this down and you're learning today, write down personality. A personality is something that we obtain which is adaptable to this three-dimensional world that we exist in. Wow! So our personality changes depending on the circumstances and the situation of our environment. So our environment influences and it conditions us to how we represent our persona in society. That's a personality. That's why when you go for a job, they look for personality traits. They look for personality attributes. They make you do personality tests because a personality is who we are on the external. Personality is all those things associated to our ego. Right, let's go there. Let's have a look at some of those traits. Now, there's five big traits of personality that we're going to discuss here first. Openness, which is our willingness to try new things. So an employer will look at that to see how open you are to learning new training or to be adaptable in that work environment that you're now starting to work in. Conscientiousness. This is the desire to be diligent and careful. So an employer wants you, to, as their new employer, employee I should say, to be diligent, which means that you're always on your guard, you're always looking out, and that you're careful like you know your safety drills. That's why we do inductions on the first day of a job. So they see if we're conscientious. Next one is our extrovert. <laughs> going to say it right. Extroversion. Extro means external. So they're looking for our external ego, which is our emotions, because our emotions are our ego. And I'm going to go into that soon too. They look to see if we're energetic. They look to see if we're outgoing and confident. They're looking to see if we're going to fit in with other people that we work with in that environment. Okay. So that's the first three, openness, conscientiousness, and extroversion. The next one is agreeableness. Are we going to be able to agree and get on with others in the workplace? Okay, so I, I went for a job interview once and the lady said, we want you to fit our hand like a glove. And at the moment, Linda, your hand is sort of just off a little bit. It's not like a glove. So what can we do today to tweak you so you're like a glove on my hand? I'll never forget that job interview. 
I knew straight away then they wanted me to change, which is adaptableness, okay, and agreeableness. So then I would be conscientious to be diligent and safe to whatever it was that they wanted me to learn in that new job. Did I actually want to work there? No, okay. So anyway, that's just personal. So agreeableness is the next one. The next one is <laughs> neuroticism. Neuroticism. Neuro, brain, okay? How inclined someone is to be negative and have negative emotions. Wow. So they want to see if you're going to be neurotic. So that's the five basic personality traits. Employers look for these contributes or attributes, should I say. They look for this because personality, remember, personality, which is our ego, is derived, it's created by the social influences and conditioning of society. So in other words, our ego is only a reflection of the materialistic world we live in. That's our ego, okay? Ego is our emotions that we attach to all the stuff that we see in this three-dimensional world. So when we're willing to try new things, our emotional side comes in and that's why we get frustrated. Oh, I can't do it as fast as I want me to do it. So you get frustrated. We learn how to hate. We learn how to put other people down and compete. Tell me a sport that makes money where it's only one person doing it. Oh, wait. And let's start the cricket noise. <laughs> there is not one sport where someone gets paid for competing against themselves. Do you ever see a gold medal for solitaire? No, because society always wants us to compete. That's why there's always two sides in sport. That's why there's always two sides in an election. That's why there's always two sides of go and ask your father or go and ask your mother to get different opinions, okay? Society creates this in our three-dimensional world, okay? So emotions are only based on our ego. Once we stop our emotions. Now, let me just go there, okay? Ego is, I'm sorry, emotions are only a reflection of what this three-dimensional world does to us. I hope you just heard that. Emotions are only a reflection. It means that we mirror. We are responding or reacting to other situations out of our control that happen in society. Look at how many people are getting emotionally attached to the wars. Look how many people now are getting emotionally attached to celebrities, sports stars and TV reality shows. Look how many people now are getting emotionally attached to their technology. How many kids these days are glued to their phones and then you hear them laughing because they're watching some crazy video, like a cat video. <laughs> so they're giving an emotion of happiness when they're watching an external source. Technology, which is ego, okay? Ego. So it's all attached to what it is that we feel and what we experience in this three-dimensional world. So, we are not born with emotions. Huh? That's true. No baby ever is born with emotions. We obtain them from the situation, the environment, and we are reacting to what we see the first moment we open our eyes when we're born. Or from what we've already been hearing inside the womb. So if there's a baby still being cooked or baked in the oven, and all it hears 
is the mother and the father or somebody else fighting that baby is now reacting it's got a re it's got an action relating to what's going on so that's why it's reacting okay so we're reacting to an external force that we're not even born into yet what chance has that kid got of ever being happy if it's already subjected to all that bitterment before it's even born so this is where we've got to go into character character is what we have innately our character will never be asked you know, no employer will ever ask you oh can we tell me about your character they don't want to know who you are on the inside because character represents us who we are on the inside personality is the persona of our ego that we have on the outside so let's have a look at some of the great things that a character is our character is what we're born with things like creativity compassion bravery ambition loyalty integrity respect courtesy accountability and also self-control huh so all these attributes kindness it can't be taken away through personality of being conditioned through society so an employer will never ask you how loyal are you they don't want to know if you're going to be loyal look at jobs today if you stay in a job longer than two years you're called a long-term employee <laughs> So they don't want people to be loyal. They just want people in there that day so they can get rid of them and get the next one for a low salary as well, right? Be honest with yourself. That's how it goes. So let's have a look at how now, now that we've talked about what is ego. So ego, in a nutshell, is the representation of our emotional connection or how we react in an emotional state to what society throws at us okay understanding that so if you're watching the news and you see a story and you start getting angry that's your personality through your ego but if you go outside and you say stuff this I'm not going to get involved with this and I'm going to look inside me at my character I'm going to look inside me and look at my kindness that I was born with and I was born with my integrity, my loyalty, and my self-preservation of the planet myself. This external world can't do anything about that because they don't know how to deal with it because it's different personality characteristics, right? So let's have a look at what happens now when we let go of ego. What happens when we let go of this emotional three-dimensional world? Now, I'm going to go there. I try and let go of my ego as much as I can. I only get dressed up if I've got to go outside because that's me respecting other people that I see. They don't want to see me in my pyjamas walking through the shopping centre. Or else I would do that. But it shows that I respect other people. And that's on the list of being a character, looking out for other people, right? So I take out my bins religiously take out the trash because I have that self gratifying um, hygienic approval of myself so I don't sit in squalor so that's why I respect myself I respect my health when I take out my bins yeah which is character so what happens when we let go of that ego and we start looking at all our characteristics instead of what society wants to, us to look at as personality so when we let go of our ego I'll tell you some of the things that start happening we start taking personality and we take we heard that saying again we start taking responsibility we take out the trash we get dressed nicely just for us we start looking after us and other people we start being compassionate we start being kinder we start being focused on what truly matters within us within and it's when we look at what we put into our lives 
and what we put into our body and what we put into our knowledge so we're learning and we don't concentrate on what we're getting out of it we're not looking at the reward we only just concentrate on what's being put in so instead of that certificate at the end we look at all that knowledge doing that course okay so we focus on what's now and we be kind as I just said kindness to not just ourselves but to others and this is how we build our own compassion and respect of all things on this planet when we're kind to someone we're showing them that we are also kind to ourselves so be kind never speak badly about yourself you know how sometimes you just say oh geez I'm such a doofus or oh look at Linda today she's such an idiot stop saying that about yourself because when you start putting yourself down that's what society wants you to do that's ego that's where narcissism comes in right because we're we're putting other people down so stop doing it only talk about yourself in a good light you know like I did a video the other day where I went down in my tree it's called the the, the, um, the hope tree video and while I'm going down there I said oh look at the big gray streak I've coming in I wasn't being nasty to myself I'm actually proud that I'm now of an age where I'm getting gray hair oh my god I was told I would never see 10 when I was a kid the doctors told my parents I would never reach 10 and now look at me I'm coming into gray hair so I'm going to acknowledge this and respect it and love it because I've outwitted outplayed and out maneuvered everybody who told me I would fail that conditioning from doctors specialists and other professionals where they were virtually talking me into never growing up never worked because my character has always overbeared my personality okay so never speak badly about yourself or other people because what we say our body remembers and it creates it so if you say to yourself oh look at that idiot over there he's speeding down the street I hope he has a car accident you're putting out all this negativity creating someone else's hurt and karma comes back and bites you so then you get all that pain so I would never say I hope I hope that person gets where they're going safely that's what I say I hope he gets past why ever he's speeding that's what I say try to anyway be humbled I was just humbled then right when I said I try huh so never think that you know everything about everybody nobody knows everything or else we wouldn't be here would be the supercomputer <laughs> so always be humbled and and admit when you make mistakes admit when you're at fault admit when you think somebody else could be even better than you life is not a competition and that's just personality of ego that wants us to compete now isn't it funny now I'm just gonna say some things here Ukraine and Russia there's two now we've got hummus and the Middle East that's two so they always pit one against another there's never three four six eight or twelve they never say things like oh my god China America Australia New Zealand Antarctica Madagascar are all going at it why is it always just two whenever we go to an election do you notice how it's always red and blue here in Australia we have blue which is liberal red is labor in America blue is Democrat and red is Republican so why do we always have two why do they want to instill in us condition us where it's either right or wrong see what I mean so we've got to get this mindset out and that's why we never say you are wrong because no one is ever wrong there's always versions of the reality where what they're saying could be correct okay so be humbled and don't always expect to think that you know everything about everyone okay 
Next on the list is to let go. Oh, how many videos have I done where I say, let it go, release, stop thinking about it? <laughs> Universal love comes to us when we say, I don't get emotionally attached to what you're doing. When we let go of our ego, which is our emotion, that's when we find peace. That's when we heal. That's when we don't get sick, believe it or not. I've been researching this all morning. Look, here's my note. So we don't get sick if we don't get emotionally attached. And look at what they do on the TV. Look at what they do in the news. They want us emotionally attached to stuff. The more we get emotionally attached to a war, it brings down our vibration. And it's when we are in that low vibration, that's when we get sick. Think. Don't, re don't react. React is when we mirror the same emotion back at whatever's going on. So if someone's angry and they're screaming, we come out, we get angry, and we start screaming back. So we are reacting. We are doing the same action back at them. We are re, which means again, acting what they're doing. So we respond. When we respond, we lose, use logic and we use critical thinking to come up with our own answer to what's going on. We pause and we use that rationale of our character, okay? Society doesn't want us to use our character. They want us to be personalized and um, personality. They want us to use ego, which is emotion. So they want us to get emotionally attached to stuff. Now, let it go. Learn to release stuff. Stop thinking about it and stop getting emotional about it. Because emotion equals ego. E E E. Emotion equals ego. I can't stress this enough today. Now, the last one I've got on here is confidence. Now, look at what I said before about personality. Personality is our confidence when we show extroversion. Okay? But, wait. Let's look at confidence. How do we gain confidence? Confidence is when we repeat a task or routine or habit. We repeat it over and over again so we get good at it. That's how we get good at something. Okay, so that's when we get confidence to go out and do it well. We get over that pass where we, we think we can, we think we can, like that little train going up the hill. So confidence, when we let go of our ego and we start saying things like, I don't care what you do, I'm not going to get emotionally attached to it. I don't care what you do and I hope you wish, I wish you well. And please know I do love you. Wow. When do we do that more and more and more? I don't care what they're doing in the Middle East right now because I'm not going to get emotionally attached to it. So I'm not going to care. I wish them well. I hope it turns out well. But I don't need to get emotionally attached to it through my ego. Huh. So the more we do that, the more we get confident at being, oh, are you really ready for it? Spiritual growth. Oh, now it's in the title of this video. Ego, is it spiritual growth or materialistic gain? That's right, because ego is materialistic gain. But when we let go of wanting the best TV, when we let go of, oh my God, they've got the new dishwasher, I need to get one of those too. When we let go of fashion trends, and we think, I don't care if they're all wearing black today. I'm going out there in my best red outfit ever. I don't care because I've got no emotional connection to what they do. I'm at peace. And I just allow myself to be who I am. Wow. Wouldn't it be good if we all live like that, right? So, spiritual growth comes when we let go of our ego. When we let go of all that conditioning from society through our personality 
And please don't take my word for it today that I know everything about this. Go do your own Google. What is personality? What are personality traits? What is character? What are person um, character traits? Difference between character and personality. Go and do all your own research on Google while we still have Google. Because I can see that we're, they're going to close down Google. That's why they want us all using apps, which is another video. Oh, so, emotions are ego. Ego is materialistic gains. So the more we stop being what they want us to be through that conditioning, remember TV programs, it's programming us to be conditioned to be what they want. Think about it. So the more you want spiritual insight, the more that you want that spiritual growth to occur, the more you've got to stop letting, you've got to let go of all your personality traits and start thinking of who you are as a character. What were you born with? And what did you acquire through society? I can tell you right now, a baby born in the Middle East right now in this war zone they're not going to be a loving baby because their whole society around them or their village or their city, everyone's hate, 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 hating. So that kid's now conditioned to be like that. So you got to take yourself out of that scenario. Go and sit in nature. Go and hug a tree. Turn off your TV. Close all your blinds and curtains, your doors, and go into your little cave and just close your eyes and say, who, who does Linda really want to be today? Who was Linda when she was born before all these people told her that she was sick? Because that's what I got when I was a kid. Huh. Because that's how we let go of ego. And that is when we come into our true self. And when we go back to heaven, we don't take our personalities. We are our true self of our character with no ego. Hope that's helped us today. I hope that you've kept watching. Hope that you've learned something. If you did like it, my PayPal link is below if you wish to donate. Thanks a lot guys. Love you all. Talk soon. Bye.